At L&M Fine Jewelry, we hand select our diamonds to give you the very best prices possible. Monty knows a great deal when he finds one. Find your great deal at L&M Fine Jewelry. Your diamond destination. Welcome to another edition of Under the Helmet with the Montana Running Backs. I'm joined by Xavier Harris. Um, once again, but everybody here doesn't know this once again. We all know this once again, but um, appreciate you guys all for being here. This is Under the Helmet with Samuel and Kim, um, presented by the Press Box um, and Skyline Sports. I'm, I'm glad to be joined by all you guys. I appreciate you guys for all being here. Um, so we can get straight into it as you guys' food is starting to get here. Um, first off, I want to start off with the first segment with you, Xavier. It's called the Mental Timeout. So you mentioned yeah. to me a little bit that you know you're feeling a little sore. How you feeling? Yeah, I'm sore for sure. Yeah, I'm for sure sore. Um, yeah, you get some treatment today? Yeah, I had to get an ice pack in. Okay. Do a little ice stem. Okay. Um, how was your week? Last week? It was a it was a little quick quick week. Yeah. It was a quick little coming off the bike. Yeah, coming yeah. Off the, it was rough. Yeah. Practice was rough the first few days. You know, legs rusty. Yeah. Everything getting back into shape. Yeah. Four days off, but. It was, it was good. It was yeah. good. Okay. Um, is there anything significant that happened for you last week? My classes got canceled. Uh, classes got canceled? Yes. For what? My teacher just got canceled class. Oh, just one class? Yeah, that's the only class I got in prison. Oh, dang. So you're all online? Dang. You got a good man. Blessed. <laughs> you got any early classes? No, nah, it's at 11. 11? Ah, oh, okay. What's your earliest class? Well, everything else is online, huh? Yep. Damn, okay, okay. All right, so next we got backfield beginnings. Um, I want to talk about your upbringing a little bit. Um, what is your earliest memory of playing football? The earliest memory is for sure my first ever football game. Seven years old. Seven years old? Did you guys, so in California, did you guys wear pads, like in Pee Wee? Yeah, you yeah. did? So when did you start playing? Seven years old, you were first grade? I was second grade. Second grade? Uh, first time. Okay, and did they do, I know with our Pee Wee, when it was like first and second, they did like half field, like they would cut the field. No, it was full. Full field? Full 100 yard field. Man. Just, we just had coaches on the field. Yeah? No, I'm doing everything, that's it. It was so funny. <laughs> I announced the third grade NYF game yesterday. And they're flag, but they're in pads. It's so funny to watch the they're kids flag? like Wait, they're what? flag. Flag football in pads. In pads. They got helmet. They got like the 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 guardian like a seven on seven helmets, but then they got pads on. They got shoulder pads on. And it's so funny to watch the kids like every kid thinks they can cut cut things back. Like they try to go this way, they cut back. They go this way, they cut Thank back. You. It's just so funny. <laughs> um. Uh. Flag football and pads? That don't yeah, matter. you're still stuck on that? <laughs> yes. I yes. know, but also, so it wasn't full field. It was 40 yards. And get this, bro. So they had an interception. The, the, it was the Cardinals versus the Eagles. The Eagles were about to score. Cardinals intercept it, run it back to the one-yard line. They don't get the ball at the one-yard line. They start their drive at the 40. So the only way a pick six counts is if you score with it. Yeah. So and then they used to do, they used to do flex. I'm not gonna lie, this league seems like it just needs to be stopped. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> NYF is good. This NYF is good, man. It's good for the kids. It's good for the kids. Um, okay, so you said your first memory was playing in seventh or seven at seven. Yeah, seven. Years um, old. and how was that? Like how was that? What was what was it like? Did I'll you guys say, was it like pop sure warmer? Scared. I was for sure scared of uh, contact at that time. Yeah? I was not trying to get hit by anything. <laughs> <laughs> They just had a Hail Mary? Oh, what, what just they had a Hail Mary? It bounced off him and he was in the end zone. What? Oh. oh my gosh, no way. No, you're good. Oh my gosh, what? Can we take a time out so we can see the replay? Oh my, yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch the replay. Oh my gosh, what? Break up the interview. Yo. Okay, sorry, we had to take a quick break. The Bears, or no, the Commanders just won on a Hail Mary against the Bears with time expiring off the clock, so we had to take a break to check that out. Um, what were we talking about? Upbringing football. Yeah. Pee Wee. Mm -hmm. um, so you play Pee Wee, you were scared of contact? Oh yeah, I was scared of contact. When, sure. did, that, when did that fade? When I switched, um, so like in my city at that time, there was two teams, it was the Oxnard Knights, 
and the Oxnard Warriors. Those are the two most famous teams. Would you guys play like other IE teams, Pop Warner teams? Yeah, they were in two different leagues though. Like okay. the Knights were in the Gold Coast uh, Youth League. Yeah. The Warriors were in the Pacific Youth League. You guys have Snoop Dogg League out nah, there? No, we didn't. We Dang. didn't. But I knew a lot of players that were on, on this team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so the Knights were like a softer league. Their uh, league was like a softer league. Like no tackling? No, it was tackling, but it was just like, it just weren't like known for like. You knew? Three. Yeah. Because all my cousins and everything, they were on the Warriors. Like everyone yeah. I knew, Aaron and all them, they were on the Warriors when I was on the Knights. Ah, so Warriors were soft? No, Warriors were. Warriors oh, were but they soft. were in the same league as y'all? No, they were in a different league. The Knights were soft. Ah, I was on, I was okay. So you were in the soft league. Yeah, I started off in the soft league. I'll admit it, I don't care. <laughs> Did you do that by design or just kind of happenstance? I, re I really don't know. It was my uncle. My yeah, uncle okay. was in and then I transferred to the Warriors around like 10 years old. Yeah. That's when I started getting. I started bringing in the physical, yeah. the physicality and all that. And I was more like a transition to a kind of like a power back at the So time. you said you were scared of contact. Is there like a play you remember watching that you saw somebody take a hit or like I took a hit that made you me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, so what was that? What happened that made you it scared? It was of? like, you know what? Like, think, think of like a traditional targeting play. Oh, man. Like Before a traditional targeting. like head on head, like crown on helmet, crown helmet, crown helmet, man. both of y'all. Did he have a neck? Did he have a, a neck a neck brace on? No. I remember when I played youth. I was looking. He was like that. Like I uh, I was scared of contact when I was played youth too. And I remember if any kid had a had a neck roll on, bad. man, I was not trying to go. Like I was not trying to go anywhere in your direction, bro. Like I was staying far away. One of them kids at that at that age when they're young, they just got that weird face mask. Yeah. And they, and they got yeah, the visor yeah. and all. You just know they're they're. You they're just know. You, you can just know. You just know. Okay, so um, youth ball, and then how does how did, when did it turn from youth ball to school ball? Because I know for us, seventh grade was high still school. youth ball. It only so high school. So you played youth ball all the way up till eighth. Eighth grade. Dang, for us. That's where because you got each age group has a different league, to, a different level. Oh, okay. So like it goes Pee Wee's, or now it's Gremlins, but at Gremlins. Gremlins. The Gremlins Crazy. are like five, six years old. Okay. Pee Wee's seven, eight. Yeah. And then you got Bantams nine, ten. Midgets. But it's all the same type yeah. of organization. Yeah, same organization. Okay. okay. So midgets were where you had the midget midget level. Yeah. So 11, 12, junior level 12, 13. Yeah. And then seniors 13. Hey, so, so no, no school ball in eighth grade. No. What we, was that like for you we guys? Were all middle school. You guys played, play school ball? I played till eighth grade. Eighth grade youth ball. Dang. Okay. Same in Oregon? Dang, okay. That's what it, that's what it was. So Oklahoma was probably weird then. Probably, because y'all had y'all had football for your middle schools? Eighth grade. So sixth and seventh is still youth ball. Eighth grade, we had a school team. Middle school? Yeah. Yeah. And at that time. Well, no, nah, we I mean we had middle school ball, but not for your school. Yeah. So that's why was, basketball was really the only sport. Basketball and yeah, basketball, that's it. Okay. Um, okay, so you start playing freshman year. Uh, do you guys have like freshman, JV, varsity? Yeah. Okay, so did you play, you obviously played freshman? Yeah, what my, was that mom, like? uh, my mom and my family didn't want me to go to varsity freshman year. My coaches wanted me to go up. Yeah? But Dang, was, they was, was hating on you? I was small, I was only like 150 pounds going into freshman year. How much are you now? Like 175. You was not no 150. If you 175 right now, you was not 150. I was like 150. 150? 150? Yeah, I was in that range. Dang, I feel like that's I was playing because in high school, like around my junior senior year, senior year, I was playing at 185. Really? Yeah. And now you down? Yeah. What 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 inspired that? What inspired what? Like to lose weight. And it was no inspiration, bro. <laughs> <Did> <laughs> it just happened? It wasn't no inspiration. Okay. So freshman year, uh, did you have like any splash plays, any like, crazy season or anything like that? Or? Freshman year? Yeah. Or like just throughout high school. Freshman year, you started in freshman year. I mean, freshman year, I, we didn't really count stats, but we did go undefeated. Yeah, I had about like twenty touchdowns. Damn, okay. Twenty touchdowns that year. So they knew, they knew. They knew, they knew. <laughs> okay, so, so, <laughs> so so sophomore year, um, going into where's it varsity? Were you playing varsity? Were yeah. you JV? What was that varsity. like? Varsity. I got, I went straight, straight to freshman varsity. varsity. Okay, so you never had played JV? No, we, hey, you, you my freshman one. year, actually, we scrimmaged, uh, you can ask Aaron this too, we scrimmaged our JV team. Yeah. Murder. Smack them? Murder. Did they, dang, so it was probably just like all sophomores on JV or sophomores, sophomore juniors? Some juniors. Yeah. So, there were even some freshmen that just moved up. Yeah. And then that one some, senior who played JV? No, we didn't have that. No? <laughs> we didn't have that. And we, we just had one junior. We just had one junior. How many kids played like varsity football at your high school? 
one yeah, like a 120, every 130 year or just like total from freshman to senior. Well, I say sophomores to seniors. From my freshman year, the from, from the, my freshman teammates that were on my that was my varsity teammates, it was only like thirty. Okay. 30 like thirty each class. Yeah. That's like roughly. That's just roughly. Like one twenty. You got thirty estimate. in each class. That's like one twenty. That's an estimate. Yeah. So, you know, you said it could like, be higher or lower. It could. I think it could. Be, if I'm, I really don't know where it could be, that's just like I'm guessing. That's where yeah. like the closest. Yeah. Like the closest to the number. Okay. So talk about your high school career when you start to blow up. When you start to you know have some success. What was that like? I started blowing up uh, my sophomore year. Yeah. That's when. I started off my first three games actually at corner. At corner? I was playing corner. I got a pick in my first game. And the next two games, I was getting torched. Yeah? <laughs> I got torched. <laughs> so, and then I got moved to a slot the fourth game. Slot receiver? Scored okay. my first touchdown that game. And then I just been on offense the rest of that season. Yeah. And I was making a name for myself. And then by the time junior year came, everyone was just like, this might be your year. 1,600 rushing yards, 32 touchdowns. Yeah. yeah. Junior that year? Was a, that was a breakout year. Okay. Um, year. When, when was that first call you got from a, from a college scout? Uh, Columbia came to one of our practices. The summer going into my senior year. Yeah. I said they were throwing the offer. I was shocked because, first of all, I didn't know where Columbia was. Isn't it like New York? Yeah, it was in, yeah. it's in like the Bronx area, something like that. But I didn't know where it was at first. Didn't know what type of school it was. Didn't know it was Ivy League. Yeah. So I, I just got happy. I got an offer. Yeah. Did some research and was like, oof. Have uh, you yeah. ever met Regime? Regime Seabrook? No. Uh, he went to Columbia. He's in the Missoula. He lives in Missoula. That's great. I, I, couldn't, I, don't, I couldn't see myself going there, to be honest with you. Yeah? I couldn't. Uh, why not? New York or? Well, first of all, I'm from Cali. Yeah, but you in Montana from Cali. Certain Cali people don't go to New York, though. Yeah, just because like they say it's like a, they say it's like a fake beef, but it's like some like I don't think I feel comfortable going to New York, respectfully. You say like oh, I'm from Cali, they're like ah, they don't like you. It's not. I mean, they could be like that, but I don't know. Because personally, if I meet some, if I'm in Cali and I meet someone from New York, I'm not gonna be like oh no, I'm not gonna be a hater. No, nah. you know what I mean. But it's just like I just wouldn't feel comfortable going out. To they New gonna be York. out to get you. I just like it's New York. I don't know anybody. You know what I mean? It's New York, like. It's grimy out there, you feel me? I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what it's going to be like. So Columbia, then who was next? Uh, Montana. Montana? And Dude, that was only really the, the only two? Yeah. I probably, I think, I feel like I could have got more, but Coach Green called me on that na uh, the first national signing day. It was yeah. putting Raps. pressure on me. Yeah. But I already had a feeling it was going to be there after the visit, to be honest with yeah. you. So. Yeah. You guys, it was Idaho State, right? Yeah. Yeah. You guys came to a good one. A little I bad was, weather. It was, at first, it wasn't really yeah, good. Yeah, at first, good. it wasn't good. <laughs> at first, it wasn't we came good. Around, we came around, though. We came around. Y'all came in clutch in the second half. Yeah. So, what was those first couple of months in Montana like for you? Brutal. Brutal? <laughs> Just, I mean, the weather probably wasn't that bad. So yeah, it was. was. Well, it was COVID, remember though. The first, yeah, it was COVID. But remember, uh, I remember the day. It was like October 6th. Yeah. It was early October. Snow. Now like five inches of snow. Mm. He was like, oh, this is all Yeah, here? I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I was happy because it was snowing, but the more it started happening, I was like, ooh. Yeah. And it's cold. I woke up one day and it was zero degrees. I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I ain't stepping outside, bro. You guys in the dorms, though, so it's good. It don't matter. You guys matter, gotta really. drive. Like, you guys don't yeah, that's cool, but that. it's like, at the same time, it's zero degrees, bro. Yeah. And at that time, too, I didn't have no system. Oh, no. game or nothing. Man, I didn't have like, a game no. my freshman year I just either. had a laptop. Just a laptop oh, on my phone. But. Man. I wouldn't even hit to that, bro. Like, because I played the game hella in middle school. And in high school, I kind of fell off of it. So when I got to school, like, I had a box. But, like, it was, it was, I wasn't even playing yeah, it like that. I, hear you. I mean, I had an Xbox 360. That's what And I it's different, too, in the dorms. Trying to play is. online. And, you know, you on the Terrible mic. Terrible Wi-Fi. Terrible Wi-Fi. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you gotta have like a roommate who's also probably playing with you. Facts. To really Marker be on the game. was Marker was on the Xbox One though. Yeah. So I but I didn't. I only had the 360. So uh, not dang. much is really gonna happen. Dang. Okay. It sucks, but it is what it is. Okay, so you get on campus, um, and then you know what was those? What was what was that first practice like? Those first couple practices. Did you play as a, well, I guess it was 2020. I keep forgetting it was COVID for well, you. Well, yeah, COVID was spring. Remember spring. The spring, the two spring games. Yeah, what was that like? Because you that played was, in those, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was, 
It was fun because, to be honest, that was still there was only like what five thousand people those games. Yeah, that was that was, that was a, yeah. a limited amount. Yeah, it was, it was kind of fun. It was yeah. kind of fun because I kind of got a glimpse of what it would actually be like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was like mm, this was actually kind of cool. We got to play a Big Sky opponent. I remember when uh, Coach Hawk announced that like we're gonna play Portland State. I remember everyone was like, let's go. <laughs> that was, I didn't know how big any of that shit was to be honest with you yeah. at that time. And you didn't even get a real. I mean, you got to watch a game, but you didn't get to see. You didn't get to play in front of a real crowd until that so, 2021. Yeah, but I didn't even get to play in that real until Cal Poly, like third year of the season. Oh, uh, yeah. No, you played, you dug. I got hurt that, but that was a home. Right, 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 right. It was right, a home. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, we're going to go through a day in the life. Walk us through your day to day routine in season and out of season. We started in season. You don't have to do both in season and out of season. Just do the season. Okay, so go out of season. Out of season. Uh, let's go. Cover my mic, it's my fault. Uh, so traditional summer day, let's see. I wake up, got lift in the morning. You it's know, like summer? You doing yeah, like summer? Yeah, I'm doing summer. I'm doing okay. Summer. You, know, I you work? Up, I really haven't had a job in the past few times. Oh, man. Camps, I'm in the camps. Man. Or I worked at Stocks a couple Dawn times. Dawn of the days where we had to work. NIL, man. You boys got it good out here. I didn't have no NIL this past <laughs> summer. <laughs> But I, you know, you wake up. I got my PS5 this summer, so okay. I was happy. Woke up, went to lift. Yep. Went home on the game. I watched a little movie, a little TV. You not doing nothing all day? Huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. In the spring, it's different, I guess. Cause yeah. No. No. So talk about spring. So talk about spring. Like, it's what's your day to day? The only difference is, is I got study hall, and school, and practice before I go home and do what I just. Condo. Like. Yeah. Damn. Blank that out. <laughs> Condo, oh yeah. Ooh, y'all boys is gonna, ooh. They what? haven't even done condo yet. Oh uh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> ooh. Y'all gonna, y'all gonna have fun with that. Rude awakening. <laughs> I might, I might wake up one Tuesday morning just to go, just go watch it one time. Respect. Did you, did you do, you did, or you got here in the summer? You did it? What'd you think about it? What'd you think about it? Like, compared to what I was doing before, <laughs> definitely a lot, like, a lot more physical. Right? Oh, yeah. Because before where I was at, it was like, <clears throat> it was the same thing, but spaced out. Yeah. So instead of doing what we did in 45 minutes, we would do it in two hours. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. We do, I, the way we do it, I'm solely, I'm really convinced that it's solely just to see how mentally strong you are. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 100%. So, so yeah. a lot of that is. It's, that's really the only thing. I mean, pushing sleds back to back to back to back to back. And then gassers, just running I mean, gassers. You, you, pass it, then you pass it out, waking up to Coach Sachs in your face. Get up, get up, get up. Man, Coach Sachs, man. Do you know you okay? Do you know you okay? No, I wasn't, but I heard about that. Do you know you okay? Do you know? Yo. That, that was that was that was that one was calling me. That one was calling me. Oh my gosh. Okay. Is there one thing you feel is ritual, whether it be daily, once a week, or only on game day, or vice versa? Is there something you don't do specifically on game day? The only rituals I really do is on game day. Like, and what is that? Like, talk us about so talk like about some morning, rituals. Like, if the game is in the afternoon, like twelve to three, one yeah. of those times. You know, you don't get that much time. Yeah, you're that, really so up early. Time. You're just up. Yeah. Like for a home game, you just go. As far as me, my rituals in the locker room. Put, get some new tape, put it on my pads, you know, so the tape sticks like to the Like the double, jersey, double sided double tape? Ah, uh, okay. So they'll stick to the jerseys, you know. Uh, watch the tape on Austin Highlights, the only one senior year. You watch that every, watch every week? Every game, I didn't watch it yesterday. In the Treasure State, University of Montana football is a way of life. Lithia Ford has long been a proud sponsor of Grizz Football. And Lithia Ford of Missoula is thrilled to have several of the best Montana football seniors driving the best trucks in Montana. Aspen Sound is the premier car audio and accessory shop in Montana. Aspen Sound makes sure the boys are riding in style with tinted windows and state-of-the-art stereo systems. There's always a party in Montana. Whether you're going to a concert, a wedding, or a football game, the Montana Party Bus will get you there. Skyline Sports and ESPN MT cover the big sky with more depth than anyone. Check out SkylineSportsMT.com and tune in to Nuanas Now on 1029 ESPN Missoula every day. 
My Montana Roots and Wear Your Roots Clothing is your go-to spot for the most unique and comfortable lifestyle clothing you'll find anywhere. And get your custom t-shirts to support your favorite player. From five local businesses who love Montana, best of luck to the Grizz as they pursue another Big Sky Conference championship. Um, next, what is your mindset when it comes to stepping on the football field and your answer can't just be one word, going down? Prove why I belong. Huh? Prove why I belong. Prove why you belong? Yeah. Is that something that you developed in high school, like something you came up with in high school? Or I feel like that's something I've had since I was a kid. Like yeah. it's, been, it's been on my shoulders since I was a kid. Yeah. I've always been doubted, all that, so it's just like something like I always got to constantly prove. Yeah. Okay. Um, what is your mindset when it comes to, I guess I just asked, oh yeah, I just asked you that. Where do you get your confidence from? My mom. Your mom? For sure. My mom. What did she do or say that gave you that confidence? It's, the, it's not even what she does or say, it's just how she carries herself. You know, like, single mother of five. Yeah. Not a lot Watching of her every day. That, you know what I mean? Yeah. Not a lot of, not a lot of women can stay strong yeah. and raise five kids at home. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel that's, that. That's like the mom, the yeah. right there. There's yeah. There's no way other women describe it. I feel that. Um, what motivates you to keep going and improve every day? My family and these boys. I'm not gonna lie, like, there have been times the past few years, like, if I've even questioned if I even still wanted to play. Yeah. But, like, being in the locker room with these dudes and everyone else on the team, yeah. every single day, like, seeing, just laughing. Keeps you going. Joking. Like, it's just something like, bro, I don't, I don't know if I can live without that. Yeah. While I still, while I still have the chance to be in there. Yeah, man, it's special. You know it's special. I mean? like, the locker room's special, man. You got the chance to be in college and be in the, on the college football team. Yeah. Around people who do nothing but make you laugh. Yeah. It's like, you don't want to leave that. <laughs> yeah, man. That's, man. It, and enjoy the locker room, man. There's nothing like it. I, I promise you. Um, what's a goal or dream? So I never asked you any of these uh, last time. What's a goal or dream you have that most people wouldn't know about? Goal or dream? It could be a I do personal want to be life. a family man. You want to be a family man? Yeah. Yeah. So how many kids? At, at least three. Three? I, like for, for me, I just want to have like, cause this is how my mom before. My mom had two twins. I did like she had as. So you got twin siblings? Yeah, they're babies, but I have a baby sister in between me yeah. and my little brother and the two twins. Yep. So it's me, my little brother Quentin Q, six years younger than me, and then my baby sister Zavella. Okay. This is before she had the twins. Right. That was like how. That's literally how I wanted how I wanted it to be. Two two older brothers and a baby girl. Yeah. So like by that time like I don't have to be overprotective over my daughter. Yeah. My sons will do it for me. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you kinda got a, a schedule of when you wanna have them, huh? Not even a schedule of when I wanna have them. I just wanna have two boys before I have a girl. Right, right. <laughs> like yeah, yeah, yeah. You got yeah, okay. Um so your goal, uh, a dream that nobody knows about is you wanna be a family man? Yeah, I just wanna be a family man. Okay. Um, if you could go back in time and give your younger self one piece of advice, what would it be? Don't worry about these females. <laughs> Don't worry about these females, bro. They're a waste of time. Yeah? It's a good time, but it's a waste of time. Yeah, if you find that <laughs> right one, man. If you find that right one. In this generation, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> what is a personal accomplishment you're proud of? Making it to college. Making it to college? Especially like how I grew up and where I came from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I'm a fir first generation yeah. student athlete, you know what I mean? Yeah. And especially coming from the town that I, that I was in. Yep. It's, suddenly, it's not easy to make it out. Yep. It's not easy. So it's like, that's like, it's a real accomplishment. Sure. Okay. Um, what is a book or movie or song that you feel reflects who you are? Ooh, that's a good question. Mmm. <laughs> Man, you like music. I know, that's why I'm trying to think of a song. I was trying to think of a movie. It could be a book or a movie. The song is probably the best one. Can I scroll real quick? Yeah. Let me, let me look, let me look. This is going to get edited. What are you, right? YB? Are you Dirk? Man, Free Dirk. Nah, I don't Man. feel that. We don't got to go like that. We don't got to get into it. He gone, he gone. We don't got to get into it. It's not, but like, nah, it don't even matter to me. Because to me, music to me is just like nostalgia. Yeah. Like, so I, say, I like listening to music that like, you think you can listen to it and then you can go back to that time. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's what I yeah. listen to. Like, I got nothing. I got playlists on playlists on playlists yeah. of artists. And they're not even from this, like, 
I got some from this generation, but yep. they're more from like early 2010s, yeah. 2000s, you know what I mean? Yeah. A song that describes me though, ooh. You know what? I'm gonna just say it. Bad Morning by Young Boy. Bad Boy by Young Boy? Bad Morning by Young Boy. Bad and Morning? Bad Morning. Bad Morning? I might have to go back and listen to that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Join Town Pump's Pump It Up Rewards Plus program and never pay full price for fuel again. Save five cents on every gallon every day at any town pump across Montana. Plus, earn and redeem points on your favorite in store items to get free stuff with our clubs. Stop in and pick up a rewards card. Download the Pump It Up Rewards Plus app today. Or visit townpump.com slash rewards to register and start saving. Right down the road. Pump it up. Oh, yeah. Okay, um, next we got Mind Over Matter. Can you describe a play or game where you had to dig deep mentally or physically? Mm. Uh, probably my senior year of high school, so against Champenard. Yeah. Like, that game, I was really, that was really probably my best game yeah. as far as, like, studying. Yep. And just being, like, physically able to do anything. Yep. I, was, I had five touchdowns that game. That's the most Dang. touchdowns I had in, in the ever? game. Ever? Yeah. Okay. That was probably the best, like, game I've ever played. Yeah. In my, in my life. Okay. Especially. All right. Um, actually, I'm going to get you one more. No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, we're going to do two-minute drill now. Favorite football player growing up? Ray Lewis. Okay. Uh, who's the funniest teammate? Sam Alford. Okay. Uh, favorite sport outside of football? Basketball. Basketball. Biggest football pet peeve? No drip. No drip. <laughs> Morning or night person? Night. What's your favorite movie? The program. I still got to watch that. If you weren't playing football, what would you be doing? Who knows? God got me. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the best trash talker on the scene? Besides me? You talk trash? You should. Uh, <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. Besides me, though, uh, Pible. Pible? <laughs> Pible. I'm giving, I'm giving Pible? it to Pible. I'm giving it to Pible. Really? It's would not, you guys agree it's with not that? even what he says, it's just how he says it. Okay. It's just how he says it. Um, one word that describes your playing style. Elusive. Who's your biggest inspiration? LeBron. Okay, coffee or energy drinks? Coffee. Okay. Okay, I want to ask you, I got some Grizz history on here. I got three. Hey, bro, no, this ain't no fall camp, bro. Come, no, 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 as far as like single game? Single game. Wasn't it Johans? Okay. Okay. Hey, come on. I, I, I know some of that. Okay. Uh, do you know how many yards he had? No. Okay. Um, bonus. Where does Nick rank on this list? Like in the game? In one game? In rushing yards for a game, single game. Don't worry, because was it Eastern that you had the bigger game? No. Uh, Cal Pauly. Oh, God. Where does he rank? It's top 10, I know for sure. Yep. I'm just trying to think, is it top five? It's not number one, is it? I, I think no, it's top No, number one. That, oh, duh. I'm not number two, but it is number two. Is it? No. Number, it's number six. Number six? 221 yards versus Cal Poly. I swear you could have been top five. <laughs> I swear. Right outside the top. Okay. I, swear you been I only got three of these, so this is our second one. What is the most rushing TDs that RB has ever had in a game? Four. Four? Wait, here, right? Yeah. This is four. How do you know that? Because he did it. I'm, no. No, you didn't do that. He did. The, there's, there's a. It. it was you. No. I, KLE did, did it. Oh, KLE. I did it. Oh. And it said most rushing touchdowns. It was like it said something just like that. Oh, I swear I thought you had. No, the running backs, forward. the running backs are Jordan Canada, Lex Hilliard, Justin Green, Johanse Humphrey, and Arnie Blancas. Did you not have a four touchdown game two years ago? I did, but one was receiving. Oh, that's what. Go ahead, Emerson. Okay, last one. Longest TD run in school history since 1968. It is against. Uh, Davis. Damn, you know your history, bro. You was acting <laughs> like you was like, no, nah, this ain't fall camp. Like, <laughs> you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, your name was. How long was it? 
It was 80... Eighty four, eighty five. Eighty five. Okay. Okay. What was Johansi's game? Two sixty eight. Two sixty five. Two sixty five. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Against Weber State, no one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's it, man. I appreciate you guys for being here. Thank you guys for tapping.